Hi there, Joe Crawford, chatbot copywriter and dialogue designer here. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how to add submenus to your persistent menu. Now, one of the main benefits of a persistent menu is making it very simple and easy for your users to navigate the core functions of your chatbot. It's always available with just a few clicks and they don't need to know any preset keywords that would trigger an interaction. So say you wanted to get them to be able to restart a conversation, access somewhere where you order products, or perhaps in this case, get contact information, you can add it with submenus. And the importance of submenus is that the persistent menu generally allows for three individual items. However, when you create a submenu, you can turn those items into a path that brings you to more choices. So rather than just having a contact that is one piece of information, you can include email, phone number, and more options to ultimately make it more convenient for your user. So to show you how this is done, let's jump into JoeBot 2.0. Now right now I have it at my start hello statement, and from the left-hand menu, we'll select persistent menu. In this case, let's select web chat, as that is where I will be creating this interaction for. So what you can see that I've done here is one that's kind of pre-submitted, um, which is starting with submenu, getting into contact, and then phone number. And I'm gonna delete these and I'll walk you through exactly how I did it. So you can see that these are the two originals, restart, which should always stay, and the Snatchbot one that comes with the free version of Snatchbot. So first, I'm going to select Add Item. And what I want is, rather than it that selection taking me to a URL or sending a specific message to the bot, I want it to create another submenu. In this case, I'm going to say Contact. Now that I have that, I need to decide what that will lead this to. In this case, one more submenu. phone and finally once I have phone in I'll select the final one which you'll see that submenu is no longer an option because you can only go three submenus deep so in this case I'm going to say send a message to bot and this is going to be called phone number and the message that it will send to the bot is phone now I use phone because I have a global connection that causes any input of the whole word phone on its own to trigger the phone number. So with that built, let's jump back over to our build and test it out to see how this works. So from build, let's select our test option from the bottom left, give it one quick refresh, and we'll go down to our persistent menu where we can see three things, powered by Snatchbot, restart, and contact. As you can see, unlike the other two, this contact part of persistent menu opens a submenu, which would be phone. And from here, I can select phone number. Now, something you could also do if you'd like, as I referenced earlier, is from contact, you can add another item that could say, for example, email or live chat, whatever you want to offer as contact to your users. So when I select phone number, that pulls that and pulls up the hypothetical phone number. So that's a quick, easy way to give your users persistent access to whatever they need. Now there are differences between what some platforms allow uh, in terms of persistent menus, but most have welcomed it. And so by putting it in, you are adding a major benefit and convenience to many, many of your users. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for listening and I'll speak to you again soon.